Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. It's PhD Simmer here and I was just about to go ahead and do something and I thought it would make a really good tutorial. So um, recently I've been working really hard to try and improve the audio quality of my videos. I play The Sims 3 and 4 on a laptop. It is a gaming laptop but it does have a fairly noisy fan. Um, you know it's a new laptop, it's always been fairly noisy. I think it's just you know, got a fairly intense cooling system in there. So um, in the background of my videos, you hear the sort of hum of the fan and, you know, towards the end of the video, after 30 minutes of recording, it can get fairly loud. Um, I haven't ever bothered to really look at how to remove this and recently I've been doing that. So I thought I would share with you the technique that I use. So. I record in NVIDIA Shadow Play and currently there is um there isn't a way you can reduce noise. I mean if you use OBS you can add add noise suppression and noise gate and things like that. That's probably for another time, another tutorial for another time. But this way um you can sort of fix your audio after you have recorded your video and I'm going to show you how. So you need two programs to do this, um free make audio converter or any sort of free software i mean you can pay for it if you want but there are free versions that will convert um, mp4 to mp3 so i just downloaded this one from the internet it's free it's called free make audio converter also need audacity which again is free most people have this or have used this um and there are tutorials about how to use it for other purposes apart from what i'm going to do in this video but anyway so grab yourself audacity and freemaker audio converter and i will put the links to them in the description box below if you want to find them and then what you do is you need to um click this add audio button you can also go to file add audio but you might as well use the button and then find your video recording so i've just recorded my introductory video for my not so berry challenge which is going to come to my channel um once my black widow challenge has finished so find your video wherever you save your videos and then open and then once it's opened you can see this video here is 20 minutes 12 seconds long and it tells you various info about so it's a one gigabyte file size it tells you other stuff but you don't really need to look at that you don't really need to click any other buttons or change any settings just literally open up the software as it comes go to mp3 down here at the bottom and then i have left everything as it is i've left it on optimal quality you can click here and change the quality settings um but i just leave it on optimal and then I've never clicked any of these buttons, presets and things like that. And then just click where you want to save it. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And yeah, I just leave it the same file name as the original video and press convert. And this will take, depending on how long your video is, this can take quite a bit of time. But you can see we're on 3%, 4% of a 20 minute video. So it's not going to take too long. Um... I will probably just cut here and I'll join you back when this is finished though, just so you don't have to sit and wait. <laughs> okay guys, so our audio has been successfully converted, so you just click OK and then you can close down the program because it, it, it will be on your desktop now. Um, and then you need to open up Audacity and if you haven't used Audacity before I'll just show you how to basically do what you need to do. So go to File, Import, go to Import Audio. And now on your desktop, you will have your MP3 version. And we'll just let that import. That should take literally seconds. There we go. So this is our audio file. And what I usually do is I just press this magnifying glass at the top here, zoom in a couple of times. And then all you need to do is find a section of audio where you're not talking. Clearly, I was very chatty in this video. Um, Usually I would say, if you're going to try this method, when you record your video, just leave 20 seconds maybe at the end of the video and um, that will just capture the sort of background noise that you're experiencing. So, okay, so this up and down sort of wiggly section, that's obviously where I'm speaking. And then these 
moments here if I just highlight it here this is the background noise so this will be your fan spinning any sort of background noise like that um mainly in my videos it's um I live quite near to an airport so airplanes going over um we've got some builders across the road so them drilling and banging around and lorries moving around and fan noises they're all sort of in the background noise which can be just quite distracting really. So you need to highlight a section of audio. I'll just check there's not a better. You kind of want quite a long time. Like here, this is pretty good. I'd say you want a good few seconds. Um, but yeah, if you leave like 10 or 20 seconds at the end of your video, then you can just scroll straight to the end and um, grab that. But yeah, you can see I was quite chatty. Um, don't think there's a better place really we'll leave it there so yeah highlight this section and then you need to go to effect and then go down to noise reduction and then you click get noise profile um in terms of step two this is um what mine was automatically set at so you could copy these settings if you wish this is what works for me i've not changed them so if if you want to just copy these settings so noise reduction db20 sensitivity 6.00 frequency smoothing bands 150 and then noise reduce is clicked and then if you want to change those to match mine that's fine click get noise profile and then if you do um control a on your keyboard that will highlight the whole section rather than you have to sort of scroll for it so you can see the whole audio track is highlighted now um let's just go back roughly where we were I think we were around here i'm not sure to be honest but anyway it doesn't matter and then just go to effect and then go to the second option here it says repeat noise reduction and then this will take however long depending on the length of your video it's usually not too bad i mean i normally do 30 minute videos and it takes a few minutes so this is saying it's around three minutes which is not too bad and i'll join you when that is finished Okay guys, that has finished and you can see if we highlight that same section or near enough same section, it's a smooth line now rather than a little wiggle and you can see here, again here we've got like a nice smooth line so all that background noise has been removed. You can repeat that process, all you've got to do is just do control A on your keyboard and then go to effect repeat noise reduction. I wouldn't do it too many times. Um, and in fact, I only ever do it once just because you want to make sure you're not going to start cutting into your speaking. So, yeah, there we go. That's our new audio track and it looks a lot cleaner. So now we need to export it. So we just go to file, export audio. Again, I haven't um, changed any of the settings that audacity sort of had preset so i'm on bitrate mode preset quality insane 320 variable speed fast channel mode joint stereo i've never changed any of that you can save it as whatever file type you like but i always choose mp3 i always do mp4 videos mp3 audios so then we're just gonna add on the end of this clean so we know which one is done and then i never fill any of this in never click any of these buttons just press ok and then that will export the file the new audio file just to wherever you want to save it so i've just stick everything on my desktop really like i said there's different ways you can reduce noise um this is one way that works for me because i use nvidia shadow play or nvidia share as it's now called to record my video so my video and my audio are all combined there and then um i don't record my audio separately so it does limit me in what I can do, but this is the method that I've found and I'm going to use. So there we go. That's all done. So we are finished with that. Now all we need to do is open up your video editing software. So I just use Windows Movie Maker. I know it's pretty um, basic, but that's all I use. And then I'm going to put my video in. So intro to my Not So Berry Challenge. And you can see this has got the existing audio that I actually recorded and it's got all the background noise that we don't want so what we do is we just mute this video um whatever way you, you can use whatever video software you want um 
or you can use Movie Maker if you want. I mean, I find Movie Maker works perfectly okay. And then all we do is we go to, so we've muted the audio. We're going to add music and then we're going to cl click our clean version and we're going to open that up. And you can see that it matches perfectly because it's, it is extracted from this file originally, but a lot of the um, noise has been eliminated. So that's all we needed to do. And now I'm just going to actually process that video or render that video, whatever you want to call it. And I normally just call it the same as the first file, but just put clean on the end. And there we go. That's my movie finished, I guess, or my file finished. And that's ready to upload to YouTube with a much better audio track. Um, so I hope you found this useful in any way, shape or form. I just thought I would share what I do. Um, it's kind of what I'm going to start doing with all my videos. I've been testing it out on a couple of videos, so you might notice on a few of my past videos, the audio is a little bit better than some of the other ones. Um, but I'm going to try and make this like my routine now because I think it's, it's, um, it's a good good way to sort of uh, make the listening and experience of your viewers a little bit better. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any more tutorial ideas or suggestions, drop them down below and I'll definitely take those on board. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I, I do mainly Sims 4 Let's Plays and Challenges, but I also have started going back to Sims 3 um, and I want to explore lots more of the Sims 3. Um, and that's about it really. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.